Ammonia gas is synthesized according to the balanced equation below. One mole of N2 plus three moles of H2 yield two moles of NH3 or ammonia. So if 1.55 liters of nitrogen reacts with 4.92 liters of hydrogen, what is the theoretical yield? So the thing to understand about this problem is that first we're going to need to figure out what the limiting reagent is. The limiting reagent is going to be the substance that gets used up entirely when this reaction takes place. A certain property of this problem makes it a lot easier than a lot of other uh, theoretical yield and limiting, limited, limiting reagent problems we may encounter, and that is the fact that every single uh, reactant and every single product here is in fact a gas. And one of the things about gas reactions is that the mole ratios here, the 1, the 3, and the 2, should be the same as the volume ratios. So what we're going to consider in order to figure out the limiting reaction, the limiting, the limiting reagent, is the relationship between my two reactants, H2 and N2. H2 over N2, according to the formula given here, should occur should react in the ratio of 3 to 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a little test here. I'm going to put 4.92 liters in the H2 spot and 1.55 liters in the nitrogen spot and see what this ratio actually is. If I do this, what I'm going to get is 3.17, or more specifically, 3.17 over 1. So, the formula told us that hydrogen needs to be at least three times as great as nitrogen. And indeed it is. The ratio is in fact 3.17 to 1. That means that there is excess hydrogen. If this number had turned out to be less than 3.17, then we would have excess nitrogen, and hydrogen would be the limiting reagent. So the limiting reagent most assuredly is nitrogen. Having determined the limiting reagent, we have enough information to calculate the theoretical yield. Because the theoretical yield is controlled exclusively by the limiting reagent. And I'm going to look at this um, limiting reagent, the nitrogen, relative to the NH3. And I see from the formula that the ratio that the reactant to product should occur in is 1 to 2. But what I actually have is 1.55 liters of nitrogen, which leaves me with how much NH3? Well, we can cross multiply and find out that the NH3, or rather the liters of NH3, is going to be equal to 1.55 times 2, or 3.1 liters.